Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the weekly MMA Cycles Market Update. This is Gianni DiPoccio, your host. It's Friday again, so that means it's time to review what happened in markets last week. Let's go ahead and start off with the Dow Jones. I'll share my screen here. We had uh, Uranus go direct uh, last Sunday on the 22nd of January, and it started off uh, pretty strong for stocks this week, uh, pretty much immediately rallied and continued higher throughout the week. Dow is close to testing uh, its highs back from December, uh, and if that clears, we could pretty much uh, confirm a new bull market. But we also had um, a conjunction with Venus and Saturn on the same day as Uranus going direct, and then we had Venus ingress into Pisces uh, on Thursday, January 26th. Now, that was interesting because we had the Q4 GDP reports come out and we actually had the economy grow above expectations in the fourth quarter. So that uh, lends credence to the notion that fears of a recession might be overblown in the short term. But I think the bigger risk uh, that markets uh, and the economy faces right now is a resurgence of inflation and Venus ingressing back into Pisces could eventually lead to uh, moves in commodity prices, especially crude oil. But I want to stick on the topic of stocks real quick. Now we see how uh, Uranus turning direct was a boon uh, for the NASDAQ, which is a tech heavy index. Obviously, Uranus rules technology. It also rules breakouts. Looks like we're starting to break out from a uh, formation here in the NASDAQ, and, uh, it's, which is currently trading at its highest level since mid-September. So uh, typical Uranian behavior. Looking forward into next week, we have a trend between the Sun and Mars on the 29th of January. And we also have a square aspect between the sun and Uranus on the 3rd of February. So we could see uh, perhaps another breakout in tech or even a sharp reversal. Uh, so we'll have to be on our toes going into the back half of next week. We do also have uh, Venus forming a square to Mars. But seeing this rebound in tech is a good sign. We also had some inflation numbers uh, come in on Friday. Uh, which basically were at estimates. There was a little bit uh, of um, an exceeding of expectations, but it was very, very small, and the market seemed to look past that. But um, you know, the other component of Venus uh, in Pisces now is there could be a false sense of optimism because we know that Pisces uh, can have that tendency, and Venus obviously real stocks. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, interest rates. Ten-year uh, Treasury yield rates rose on the week. Um, and, you know, if inflation does start to pick up, we would expect that to go higher. Uh, but also, if the economy is not going into recession, we would look for interest rates to rise uh, in that regard as well. And that could uh, eventually translate to further strength in the dollar, um, which is basically flat on the week. Uh, a little bit of a bid here on Friday, but nothing really to be all that excited about. Let's take a look at crude oil ETF USO. This is covered in the MMA ETF report. It was a pretty good week until Friday. We slammed back lower and we saw, uh, you know, a reversal basically the day after Venus ingressed into Pisces. So, you know, we had that, uh, um, the Piscean uh, signature, the ingress of Venus. Obviously, Pisces rules crude oil. So it's not surprising to see a reversal in that regard. Just take a look at uh, Gold Miners GDX is uh, another ETF that we cover in the MMA ETF report and uh, formed a new multi-month high midweek and reversed back lower. Uh, again, this was uh, three days after Venus uh, formed a conjunction to Saturn and uh, three to, uh, one day before we had Venus ingress into uh, Pisces. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this. Uh, next week, as we, we note that uh, a few cycles in the precious metals market are starting to mature uh, notably. Um, I want to take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin consolidating near the highs. And uh, I think this is a very important market to keep an eye on uh, next week, especially when we have the square between the sun and Uranus. So if you want to see how we're positioning uh, in the cryptocurrency market, I would encourage you to check out the MMA crypto reports. We publish those on a weekly and daily basis. So that pretty much takes care of all the markets that I wanted to look at today. A um, couple brief announcements. We just had the uh, MMA addendum, a monthly plus uh, report published this past week by MMTA graduate Puyan Zolfargarnia. And we had the uh, MMA grains report, uh, which is also published 
by MMTA graduate Wyatt Fellows. The, those were sent out uh, this past week, so I would encourage you to check those out. Uh, we did open up registration for the Merriman Market Timing Academy, which is set to begin on the 18th of March, so details can be found at mmacycles.com. would also encourage you to sign up for the free weekly report, which is a great complement to these videos, and if you didn't get a chance to see the presentation I did with Astrology University last week, uh, go ahead and check it out, astrologyuniversity.com. I uh, had a great session there with our good friend, uh, Tony Howard. So that's, that takes care of what I wanted to review with you this week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you same time, same place, uh, seven days from now. Thank you.